642 for decades now, the federal government has enforced strict rules about contaminants in our drinking water. Yeah, but some environmentalists say those regulations don't go far enough to protect your health. And with more on that, here is Seven on Your Side investigative reporter Danielle Lee. Good morning, guys. You know, there morning. are two standards that are set when it comes to water quality. There are the standards the federal government sets to protect public health. And then there's an even higher bar for contaminants set by some environmental scientists, which they say eliminates any risk of a negative health effect. And we took a look at both. When we turn on our faucets, most of us count on our water to be clean which is why claims by one D.C.-based environmental group are so startling. The environmental working group identified chemicals in the water we drink within the legal limits set by the federal government, but exponentially higher than the levels recommended by some environmental scientists to prevent health risks like cancer. Chemicals like trihalomethanes, radium, and arsenic. The contaminants come from various sources, including agriculture, manufacturing, and the very chemicals used to clean the water we drink. Just because it's legal doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe. Alexis Timken is a toxicologist at EWG. Our guidelines are based on really what carries no level of risk. The EWG put their findings in a searchable database. Type in your zip code and get a look at your water utility's health score. We asked people in one Westchester County coffee shop to try it out. Well, ultimately, your kids are drinking this water, you're drinking this water. A spokesperson for the Environmental Protection Agency said people in the tri-state shouldn't worry, saying in a statement, protecting America's drinking water is a top priority for the EPA. And the Westchester County Health Commissioner backed up the government's standards. Our water is as safe as it can possibly be made at this point in time. But for some residents, this database gives them reason to rethink the water they drink. What could be the potential harm to our health? Water utilities are required to notify customers whenever a violation of federal standards is detected. We have a link on our website to both the EWG's findings and also the EPA's latest enforcement history so that you can compare for yourself. And if you're concerned, you can always consider a water filter. But it is important to make sure that that filter will actually eliminate the specific chemical you are worried about.